please remain standing as we call on Ms. Angie Blanco, the PDRM of Pampanga, to lead us in a short prayer. Let us all bow our heads and put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Almighty God, you have entrusted us to be the one to be one of your means to serve your people. We come to you today asking for your guidance, wisdom, and support as we begin this meeting. Help us to engage in meaningful discussion towards, towards ensuring safety of our constituents as the recent occurrence of the earthquake brought great impacts. Comfort and heal the injured, the bereaved, the lost. Strengthen the aid workers, medical and rescue personnel. Please continue to remind us that all that we do, all that we accomplish, is for the pursuit of truth, for the greater glory of you, and in the service of humanity. May your love and grace be present among us every day and keep us all safe from any harm and forms of disaster. We ask all this in the glorious name of Jesus. Amen. We may now take our seats. May we now call on Governor Lilia Pineda for her welcome remarks. Sa ating pong mahal na Pangulong Rodrigo Roa Duterte, sa lahat po ng mga cabinet secretaries, sa lahat po ng kapwa ko gobernador, mga directors ng ibang ayensya, mga mayors at kawani sa gobyerno, at mga kaibigan sa media. Maganda nga po po sa inyo lahat. Ako po ay nagpapasalamat sa inyong mabilisang pagtugon at pagdamay sa trayadyang nangyari dito sa lalawigan ng Pampanga. Ito ay pagpapatunay ng ating pagkakaisa pagdadamayan at pagtutulungan sa oras ng pangangailangan. Malaming Pangulo, kahit po uh, labing lima yung aming casualty, pero ang laki po nang itinulong ninyo sa aming probinsya, lalo na po dito sa bayan ng Porak. Um, sana po uh, maging kantabay namin kayo lagi, lalo na po sa ganitong pagkakat na, na merong pong trahedya. Sana po lagi kayong nasa tabi ng mga kapampangan. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Governor Pineda. At this point, may we can now call on Undersecretary Ricardo B. Halad of the Office of Civil Defense for his briefing. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. President, Governor Lilia Pineda, Executive Secretary Middeldea, Cabinet Secretaries, other officials, both local and national. Uh, good afternoon. I will present the NDR NDRMC response actions in connection with the magnitude 6.1 earthquake in Luzon, uh, involving uh, various government agencies. Next slide. People reported yesterday on the occurrence of a 6.1 magnitude earthquake with the epicenter in Castillo, Zambales. It was felt uh, in varying intensity to as far north as Baguio City and as far south as uh, Lokban, Quezon. Uh, the highest recorded in intensity was uh, in 1066, in San Marcelino and Subic Zambales, Florida Blanca, Lubao, and Borac Pampanga, Angali City, and Longapo City. Followed by Intensity 5 in uh, Castileos and San Felipe Zambales, Magalang, Mexico, San Fernando Pampanga, Abukay, Balanga, and even in Metro Manila. Intensity 4, likewise, in parts of Bulacan. Nueva Ecija, uh, Cavite, Antipolo City, Baguio City, 
and the other parts of Metro Manila. In 10 City 3, likewise, in uh, parts of uh, Bulacan, uh, Lukban, Quezon, uh, parts of Batangas and uh, Cabanatuan City and Calamba City. And uh, the lowest uh, recorded intensity was uh, intensity 2 in Baler, Aurora. Next is the effects of this earthquake in uh, Region 3. As of now, reported the uh, casualties numbered 16 dead, 14 missing uh, from that uh, building in Porak, the Chuson uh, supermarket, with uh, 86 injured, which uh, included uh, nine rescued in that uh, building in Porak. These are these casualties, uh, the 16 dead, are broken into 12 in Porak, two in Lubao, one in Angela City, and one in San Marcelino, Zambales. Damage to st structures total the number of uh, 28 in Region 3 as of uh, this hour, with 10 in Bataan, 3 in Zambales, and 15 in Pampanga. It also resulted to uh, stoppage of power supply, but uh, as of now, most of the of those uh, areas affected were already restored. There was also an effect in uh, NCR, the school building of Emilio Aguinaldo College in Malate, Malate Manila, which leaned to its left side to uh, the adjacent building. And uh, shown are the pictures of the collapsed building which uh, the president uh, himself saw uh, earlier. Likewise, the damage to Clark International Airport, the collapse of ceilings and uh, shattered glasses which resulted to the stoppage of operations of the said airport. Also some uh, boundary arcs in Lubao, Pampanga, uh, along the boundary between Pampanga and uh, Bataan. Likewise, uh, damage to roads, rather bridge in uh, the Consuelo Bridge in Florida Blanca, which uh, led to its closure to all traffic. And uh, following is the response actions of the national, of the NDRMC involving various government agencies. A total of 523 personnel from eight national and regional government agencies and 10 LUs are deployed currently in Porak. Shown are the pictures of uh, the collapsed structure search and rescue in a uh, Tucson supermarket. I would also like to highlight that aside from the national government agencies, uh, the MMDA also uh, sent the uh, augmentation team to participate in the search and rescue. Likewise, uh, the private sector, uh, uh, Miralco provided uh, temporary lighting so that uh, uh, the search uh, rescue and retrieval can be conducted uh, even at night time because of the stoppage of power in the area. The uh, National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council Operation Center raised the alert level of the operation center in Campo Ginaldo to blue uh, last night. We issued immediately upon the receipt of advisory from the PBOX uh, advisories to all agencies in the concerned as through fax, SMS, website, and social media, including uh, the free uh, alert messages uh, through the telcos. We likewise recommended the suspension of work in government in the offices in Metro Manila to anticipate in anticipation of possible uh, uh, pressure on the transport sector as uh, the DOTR uh, canceled the uh, 
the trips of MRT, MRT and LRT. But uh, early this morning or past midnight, uh, the, the inspections were already already completed, and uh, trips of these uh, railways were uh, resumed. Next, the DOST of course uh, issued a series of advisories, including uh, the occurrence of uh, aftershocks after the first uh, tremor in uh, at five o'clock uh, in the afternoon. The Department of Energy activated the Task Force on Energy Resiliency to monitor the situation and coordinate with the affected areas regarding the extent of the effects and damages to energy facilities. And Petron corporations also conducted protective tripping of some units of the refinery which resulted the eventual plant shutdown. The uh, Department of Social Welfare was in a position to provide uh, relief, uh, relief goods to affected uh, uh, populace. They have standby stockpiles and standby funds amounting to 1.3 billion. Uh, next slide. The Metro Manila Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council issued memorandum to conduct inspection to all government uh, buildings in. Uh, the AOR and uh, the city dream seas. the dream seas of the LGUs were in a con were placed in a continuous and close coordination with the barangay dream seas for possible effects in uh, Metro Manila and uh, MMDA deployed uh, military trucks for uh, Libring Sakai to possible stranded passengers in the anticipation of uh, uh, demand for uh, transportation because of the stoppage of MRT and LRT. But uh, early this morning, uh, that uh, cancellation was already uh, recalled. Uh, it was Department of Transportation that planned for the Libre Sakai coordinating with the NDRMC as well as with the uh, Armed Forces of the Philippines. And the PNP NCR directed the PNP Director for Logistics to immediately deploy all available PNP transport vehicles, likewise to assist the DOTR in the Libring Sakai. Uh, shown are the uh, actions, likewise, of the various LGUs in uh, Metro Manila. Uh, right now, they are in the uh, uh, state of inspections of all their buildings. And some of these uh, local government units express interest or uh, intention of assisting Pampanga, specifically Purak, in the conduct of search and rescue. And the following are the observations as we conducted the monitoring and coordination for uh, the search and rescue and retrieval in uh, Purak, Pampanga. The immediate response of local government units and national government agencies that augmented the response actions of uh, PORAC LGU was uh, very laudable. Uh, it was demonstrated in their immediate action the uh, concept of assisting assi and assisted co uh, arrangement. The PORAC uh, local government units in the province of Pampanga are the assisted uh, government units and with as assisting uh, government uh, units, various local government units nearby, as well as national government agencies. Uh, also in Metro Manila, in other parts, the, the reaction of the people demonstrated the value of immediate duck cover and hold and the evacuation from the respective buildings. Likewise, uh, there's a need to scale up from preparedness for response, really to resiliency against earthquake and this is included in the recently approved or president approved recommendations from the UST during the cabinet meeting in January 9 which highlighted various measures to be undertaken by uh, different government agencies including the local government units these are uh, the list of uh, action points to be undertaken by uh, various government agencies towards resiliency.
to reduce various losses through various means, including the reduction of risk, ensure effective and efficient disaster response. That means uh, undertaking uh, uh, measures to upscale our preparedness or capability and capacities, arrangement for timely and efficient recovery and build forward better, the review and or development of hazard and risk sensitive land use plans, community-based preparedness involving the local gov government units as well as res residents and communities, capacity building of the local government units, including uh, the appropriate and effective information dissemination to the people, the use of redundant communication systems down to communities, especially uti utilizing uh, radios, having hazard and risk sensitive infrastructures that uh, will be resi resilient to strong and uh, uh, stronger earthquakes, the mainstreaming of risk reduction and climate change adaptation in national and local development plans, continued improvement of monitoring system, the strengthening of resilience of urban areas, and of course the implementation of the Greater Metro Manila Resilience Action Plans, which uh, the President approved also, and the reiteration of the creation of the Department of uh, Disaster Resilience. So as of now, sir, uh, the search, rescue, and retrieval are still ongoing in uh, in uh, Purak, uh, Sambales, as well as assessment in other areas affected by that uh, earthquake. Okay. So that ends uh, my presentation. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your attention. First of all, I'd like to thank the various uh, local government units and the NGOs in this place for the excellent camaraderie shown during the crisis. I arrived uh, last night at 2 o'clock, and it, I would have wanted to visit here, but I was not allowed by the provincial commander, uh, giving the thumbs down, because there was no sufficient light to guide us even in going around. Now, I, I'd like to Th this might be uh, too early, but uh, yung bumagsak na supermart, what could have been? Uh, you, you were all hit at 6.1. Uh, what could have been the proximate cause, at least uh, temporarily? Bakit uh, bumagsak yung supermart? Is there anybody who can... Answer the question. Yes, uh, Secretary Anyo. And uh, this could be uh, because of the structural design of the supermarket. Uh, it is only good for second floor, but it was uh, actually constructed up to fourth floor. In fact, uh, I would be issuing a memorandum circular to LGUs. Uh, that have chosen supermarket in their jurisdiction to temporarily suspend the business permit until we have reassessed the structural integrity of these supermarkets before, you know, we do not know when the next earthquake will happen. So we want to prevent uh, unnecessary loss of life. Actually, the owner of the supermarket has been summoned by the CIDG already this afternoon. So uh, before we, we uh, let the supermarket go into business operation, we have first to assess. Uh, there are about, I, I believe, four other uh, Tucson supermarket around Pampanga. Well, in all probability, <coughs> the one who constructed the supermarket here could also be the one who constructed the other. So I'd like to presume that. Uh, although I stand corrected. So it would be good at this time to just give them the advice to stop cease and desist uh, doing business until such time that the clearance is given by government 
whether the city is city engineer or uh, whoever is competent to review the planning and inquire into what kind of materials, whether they were made or applied in right sizes or was there any shortcut made. Yun ang, because in some, you would see that there's a lot of, uh, uh, well, you see cement, but uh, what's the interest inside the columns there uh, has to be uh, examined whether we, they can withstand the additional two storage. Uh, and may I know if this, uh, this was accompanied by a, a new application to add another story. Uh, yes, sir. Dr. Romel Grutas, who is a civil engineer and uh, engineering seismologist, uh, they went to Porak last night. They noted that Richards and Chuson Grocery had the structural problems. That is why they got damaged. It says here other houses and structures beside Richards and Grocery had no damage. Yes, uh, Secretary Villar. Sir, um, Based on our, uh, we're currently doing a forensic study of the the uh, the, uh, the the structure so that we can give a more comprehensive technical report. Uh, but uh, some initial reports, some point, and of course this is very raw information. But by judging by the way that it collapsed frontwards, it seems that it could be a, definitely a problem with the foundation. Uh, it might be. Uh, it's hard to speculate, but uh, you know, possibly with the columns and the the foundation seems to be insufficient. Nakikita nyo naman po yung katabi niya. Wala namang halos walang damage po yung gym sa tabi niya, which was con which was constructed by the local government. Uh, so uh, so our initial just judging by the way that it fell and the way that uh, it's, it would seem that there seems to be a problem with the basic uh, foundation. But of course, it's still too early to come up with the uh, exact. Pero nakadeploy na po yung team namin, yung forensics team para ma uh, identify yung exact. At the same time, nakapag, I instructed them also to look at the other Chuson uh, structures. As I've been told that possibly they have similar designs. So, kailangan talagang i-assess. Can somebody tell me how old is the building? Four, four years po. Order? Four years. Uh, Medyo bago pa lang po. Uh, very uh, uh, concerned kami. Sa yes. There will be a lot of uh, questions there because one, it is uh, a newly built only four years, and the fact that uh, the the, the in ex intensive uh, damage and extensive uh, was uh, appalling in the sense that there was a collapse, and the other buildings around made also of uh, cement and structural uh, materials, the steel. Wala namang is the only one. It can happen. Uh, I know that uh, there are some quirks, uh, but whether it was a deliberate uh, move to just the do away with safety standards, or uh, was there uh, a uh, compliance with the requirements of the law? Shortcuts and trying to save money. You know, that would be the work of uh, the investigators. Uh, Secretary Anyo and maybe DPW, it could, uh, and the police uh, could help in the determination of the structural integrity of that building whether it was a defect man-made or one of those really I said that it can happen and it was a bad day for them to have it. Uh, sa sunod po, I'd like to inquire into uh, yung nasugatan, how many of them are serious and uh, what uh, help have we extended so far to cope up with the 
treatment of, uh, I think the serious kasi nabagsagan na kami ito yan. So I'd like to know from Secretary Doki if uh, are we uh, responding appropriately to the demands of the moment. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Mr. Pra good evening, Mr. President and uh, fellow uh, uh, members of the cabinet. Uh, sir, uh, as of uh, 3 o'clock uh, p.m. today, uh, we have uh, received uh, a report of 112 individuals, uh, 17 of whom uh, were hospitalized or were brought to the uh, J.B. Lingat Memorial Regional Hospital and four were already discharged, as a matter of fact, thankfully, uh, just uh, before you arrived. And then 75 uh, of uh, the 112 uh, are uh, in the Jose Sonko District Hospital, while uh, 21 are in the Romana Pangan District Hospital. And uh, so far, they're uh, being uh, managed uh, adequately. No uh, problems in terms of uh, medication and uh, and uh, operations for the very seriously injured. Uh, it's a range of injuries, uh, Mr. President, from minor to uh, major, others needing amputation. Kasi nga po, na durog ang mga buto, ang mga laman, nabagsakan po, at karamihan po dito ay mula doon sa Chuson uh, collapsed uh, building. But uh, don't worry, Mr. President, because uh, we're doing everything to make sure that uh, the medical assistance is adequate, if not more than adequate, and we have, uh, uh, we are uh, monitoring the absorptive capacity of uh, our uh, DOH hospitals, as well as in coordination with the local uh, hospitals, the district hospitals in particular, uh, for any additional uh, uh, assistance or uh, complementation of uh, services. So yung mga doktor po natin, handa ang Philippine Orthopedic Center, sinabihan na po natin na kung uh, kulang po ang kanilang mga orthopedic surgeons, ay magpapadala po sila rito. Pangalawa po, uh, Mr. President, ay ang uh, PhilHealth at ang DOH ay sinisiguro po natin na lahat ng gastusin sa kanilang pagpapaospital ay uh, sasagutin po ng uh, PhilHealth at ng uh, DOH through the medical assistance uh, program. So, uh, patuloy po ang atin uh, uh, monitoring and uh, we, are, we have instructed our medical center chiefs to uh, give us an update of the day-to-day -day conditions of all of the injured patients. So, in other words, sir, that the uh the, our medical response to everybody, to every kind of injury suffered by now by the people can adequately be met by government at this time. Y yes, sir. No problem about the money. Wala po, sir. No problem about uh, uh, me medications. Wala po, sir. Dugo, meron. Uh, meron po tayo Red Cross, meron po tayo blood banks, and they're adequate, uh, Mr. President. Okay. Uh, I'm quite satisfied with this. Uh, I'll jump to General uh, DSWD. See. Good afternoon, Mr. President. There is an update on the actions taken by our regional DSWD in view of the recent earthquake. In Porak, Pampanga alone, we have distributed 200 pieces of family food packs for affected families. We also provided burial cash assistance to initially 11 individuals, as reported up to around 1,500. We also provided medical and financial assistance for 17 wounded individuals. This is over and above the assistance provided by the Department of Health. We also provided food packs to 445 families housed in three evacuation centers. Two evacuation centers in Pampanga and one in Zambales. More importantly, we conducted stress debriefing to affected families. Emergency shelter assistance will be provided to 56 families from Eta community in Pora. 
$38,000 for a partially damaged house, while $10,000 for partially damaged. We still have more than 14,000 pieces of family food packs ready for distribution. So as a whole, a total amount of 10.5 million in the form of cash and in kind on standby for utilization if necessary. Thank you, sir, at magandang gabi po. So everything is uh, appropriate uh, for this kind of uh, uh, emergency now. No, you don't have, to have any problem. Money, additional uh, food, food stops uh, uh, are being addressed now. Uh, we still have a uh, standby fund oh. for uh, we did comfort food level. and land food uh, okay. items. Sir. Thank you. Uh, itong ano ngayon? Uh, Education, and dito ba si Ma'am? Good evening, Mr. President. Yeah. I'm uh, Yusek Aling Pasco of the Department of Education. As of this time, sir, uh, can you please show this slide, please? As of this time, we have recorded about 108 schools <laughs> that have been affected from three regions, Region 3, NCR, and 4B, and about 80 classrooms have been damaged. Of the damage that uh, the cause of the damage at the moment, uh, this afternoon it was reported at 75 million, but uh, about two hours ago it already went up to about 120 million pesos of damage. The concern, uh, the only concern that DepEd has at the moment, Mr. President, is that our QRF fund of 2 billion already allocated in 2019 are all allocated for. Uh, Tropical Depression Usman in Camarines uh, Sur. So we may be needing replenishment budget from DBM. But we will also be applying for a payout via the parametric insurance lots of the Department of Finance and GSIS that will cover maybe if we can uh, uh, get the agreement with DOF and GSIS, the cost of the repair of the damages would be covered by the parametric insurance. Mr. President, most of the damages in the schools are uh, minor, and these are all, uh, majority of them are fence and uh, ceilings and uh, pavements. No structural, no major structural damages on our buildings, especially the new ones. But one concern also that we have is that the central office at the NCR was damaged. Uh, the roofing of the central office has been damaged, so we may be needing to evacuate or uh, transfer some of the offices that we have, including the office of the secretary. Uh, for the next three months, we will be transferring them to another space. That, that's so, so far, Mr. President, is our report. The, if it's right, it could depend on your old uh, building. Niya. Yes, sir. The, the old building, sir, in the central office is about 50 years old now. This is the old Ultra. So, bumukas yung uh, roofing, Mr. President, because of uh, the damages of the tiles and the roofing. Okay. Do you have the money? For this uh, building, yeah. sir, we do not have the money for this. But we are looking at, uh, because, Mr. President, we have, a, we have a property in Taguig that's beside the new Senate. We would want to develop that in exchange of the central office in the in the in in Pasi, we would like to have a, a kind of transfer of the main building main office at that uh, Tagig property but we are looking at a partner on a private and public partnership uh, arrangement so that we could uh, have our own new building even without the cost of the government side when can that be we are now uh we, if we could be successful this year, Mr. President, then that could be started for next year. But for the damages at the central office, we may be needing the next three months to repair it, to uh, enable or to just to cover the roofing so that the rain waters, when the rain season would come in, temporarily. Would not, yes, sir. Temporarily for the next. Three uh, months. Do you think that uh, it will not cause a, a jeopardy on the occupants? Uh, with that kind of uh, just uh, repair, 
Is well, there a danger that it would be another earthquake would uh, cause its collapse? Yeah, I'm talking of the lives of people. Yes, sir. Uh, that's why, sir, our strategic uh, program for that is a transfer to a new office. But pending that, sir, because that would take uh, several months of construction of new building, we will be forced to look, to just look for alternative spaces within our compound. And we have, uh, we can uh, still use those areas, sir, except this building here. But structurally, sir, the building is still sound. Only the roofings would be needing retrofitting. But when uh, the, it's at the second floor, the office of the secretary and several Exico members are located. We might need, we, we will be needing to relocate them. So you think that uh, if the repairs are made, it would still be habitable? Yes, for sir, human. it will be still habitable, sir. But you want to put up another building there within the same compound? It uh, is possible, right? sir. We still have an area at the back there for a, a new executive building. Oh, why don't you talk to the budget officer? Yes, sir. She has the money, but always denying <laughs> that there is no money, that the problem with... Yeah, you, you should build one that will survive for the next 50 to 70 years. Uh, para hindi masyadong mabigat na sa future generations, at least the buildings are uh, uh, habitable, I said workable, for a longer period. Um, if I may add, Mr. President, the location of the Department of Education and Culture is in a rock solid place, right? It's. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. The Pasig area, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, this is uh, far from the uh, West yes. Valley Fault uh, line, and it is uh, really rock solid, sir. And you have a big space in that area, right? Yes, sir. We have a big space in the area, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We'd go next to the Department of Trade and Industry. Uh, what's the extent of the effect, impact of the crisis on the local uh, economy? Wala dito siya, no? Ah, ah, yes, sir. Sorry. Yusek, uh, I'm Yusek Vismonte po from DPI. Uh, apologies from our secretary who is uh, right now in Thailand attending uh, uh, AEM. And uh, we'll join, uh, we'll eventually go to China for the presidential visit. Our report uh, pertains to prices. And we like to report, sir, that this morning we monitor uh, the prices of uh, basic necessities and prime commodities. And we found that uh, the prices are normal and below the suggested retail prices. And uh, we just want to report also that some big establishment like SM Robinson and Virgo in the city of San Fernando, Angeles and Olonga were closed, but basically for the assessment of the structural integrity of their buildings. So uh, we uh, closure has no significant effect on prices of uh, uh, commodities. Uh, and then the DTI will continue to monitor the prices and to ensure remain at their normal levels uh, that is uh, below the uh, suggested retail prices uh, to prevent profiteering. That's all uh, the report of TPI, sir. Alam mo, sir, kukunti lang naman to. I'm not trying to belittle the problem. The, uh, to me, it's just uh, uh, maybe a few towns hard hit. Uh, thank God that we have the barest minimum of debts uh, I think that uh, the local autonomy, uh, economy, can very well be uh, controlled. Th th there's no panic about people, except for those who are in the hospital uh, I've been, uh, I just, I just toured around. Maybe parang okay man. So, 
uh, managing the local economy would not be really a, a problem for uh, Tito. Just a question of uh, supervising whatever, the, if there's a need to do that. Wala, wala mamasyadong ano. You do not have a runaway uh, thing here. The matter is being controlled efficiently by the police and the military. Uh, I would have wanted to come here last night, I said, but I was prevented. Uh, I just go in from my, my city. Uh, I don't think that uh, it would be a problem for you, uh, a serious problem for you. It's a, it, it, it hit a big area in some sporadic uh, towns, but uh, I do not think that there's uh, so much damage as to cause uh, a, an imbalance in the economic cycle of uh, this place. Sa tingin ko, no price control, no nothing. I think everything is normal except for that one uh, shopping center. That's my uh, sense sa um, negosyo dito. How it would impact on the business of this place, the city. Dito tayo ngayon sa agriculture. Meron bang mga lupa dito man na ano? So it's parang urban man ito. Good evening, Mr. President. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, aside from uh, 50 million pesos worth of damage on irrigation canals and uh, dams, there's not much damage in agriculture. Uh, our production and our production targets will not be affected. Also, earlier today, sir, I talked to Governor Pineda. Uh, we have ready and standby uh, rice stocks available if uh, she would need it. Thank you, sir. That's one way of really controlling Mas mabuti ang sobra yung preparasyon natin. And sabi ko nga, sana hindi na matulong. You know, when I assumed office, I had in mind uh, this thing about rice will not uh, be a problem at all. And I must, uh, you were there and uh, you delivered a long speech. Uh, I was quite uh, confident. But really, uh, to my horror, it came. And so we had to import. Actually, I was the one who ordered uh, Jason to import, despite of the objection of some of uh, our economic managers. Because uh, sometimes, he, if we dwell too much on theories, they just want the rice piled up and to the, up to the ceiling. It's uh, what they say that, uh, what they say is what they believe. Kaya ganon, sobra-sobra, uh, mas buti na yan, sobra. Total gumalugi na tayo para mas gobyerno yan, para mas tatawin yung diba natin. Uh, do not mind about losing money. As long as the people can eat, it is the, it would be a real problem if na uh, maulit yan, walang pagkain ng tao. Pero wala mang mag-report dyan na wala silang sobra-sobra yung pagkain. Uh, not, not, nothing is cheap nowadays. And everything, every day, the prices go up. By a few centavos, but it goes up. Uh, labor, uh, Good afternoon po, Mr. President. Saan ang secretary mo, ma'am? The secretary is leaving tonight. Papunta po China. Really? Okay. He, was, he was here, sir. Dito po siya kanina, ha, sir. Bakit, bakit nauna siya? <laughs> is, so I will be reporting. Is he with somebody? <laughs> no, no, no. Cabinet. Uh, no. I'm, not, I'm not sure po. No, no. Uh, nevertheless, sir, uh, hey, Mr. President. Uh, we'll examine the flight manifest. The one who, uh, in the flight manifest, the lady that is seated with the cabinet member, in all probability, is the lady of his life. 
Iba yung the wife of his home. Okay po. Mr. President, we have profiled the 105 workers of Tucson mm -hmm. and uh, we're confident that they can be absorbed readily by the local economy because we, we're, we'll be having a job fair by May 1. Ipa-facilitate po namin madali ang kanilang re-employment. Dun po sa hindi matatanggap, we will be providing a livelihood assistance and dun po sa mga nawala ng buhay, ay magbibigay din po kami ng tulong pangkabuhayan. Mabilis po ito kahit po sila ay nasa ibang lugar. Yun lang po ang aking i-report. Maganda na I'm not joking. Marami kayong pera. Every time there's a... Nagbibigay si Bebot. Pati ikaw man. Ilan ba binigay sa inyo? Malaki? May ready. Ito to. Actually, sir, what we do now, sir, is we extend loans. And we have about 3.4 billion for easy access credit this year. It's the easiest way, sir, to extend assistance to our farmers. Kasi, sir, kung talagang asahan na natin yung uh, quick reaction fund, mauubos, sir, eh. One billion lang yun. Pero ito, sir, uh, tatlo yung programa natin dyan, yung plea and then yung sure. Yung sure natin, walang interest yan. Walang collateral. Three years to pay. Para lang makarecover sa yung farmers at saka fisherman na tatamaan ng calamity. And we have been extending this, sir. Well, if... Uh, if it fits to a T, uh, maganda. Ma'am, uh, ilan ang inyong uh, pera lahat? Yung binigay ng gobyerno sa inyo? Uh, nasa, yung pong sa dollar main ay nasa uh, 3 billion. Uh, kasali na yung mga assistance, assistance ninyo? Uh, yung special uh, purpose fund po ay hindi pa po kasali. Yung pong livelihood, more on livelihood and special program for employment and students. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat. Then, Ed De Rosario. Ed, I'm sorry, Mr. President. Chairman De Rosario is now in Marawi. He just left this morning. In behalf of the chairman, um, Mr. President, I just want to take the opportunity to thank our Congresswoman Arroyo and Governor Lilia Pineda and Vice Governor because I was also a victim of the earthquake. Uh, my house is a mess and everything was tilted down. I'm in Pro from Porak. Po. Porak. I am just two kilometers away from Chuson. Um... May bahay ka pa ngayon, matulungan. Uh, may roof pa po, pero yung sa loob, nagbagsakan po lahat. But again po, madam, from morning until early in the morning, hindi po ninyo inindang yung pagod to rescue people and kay governor. Um, I have families there who also a victim. Um, it's so sad, pero that is life. For the housing, Mr. President, um, we will just wait for the validation of the LGUs. For immediate action, we can give a assistance of 5,000 to 10,000 um, building materials for the construction of their home. Yung mga bahay po na, na partially damaged or totally damaged. We can give them as soon as the LGU provided us the validation po ng affected families para po ma-download na po yung funds sa LGU. Yun po yung una mo na po. 5 to 10,000 building uh, building materials po. Come, come to think of it. Yung, yung napunta ko ba ng Marawi? Uh, And the housing, the little uh, houses no, sir, that were done by Ed? Po, wala po. Hindi po ako sa Marawi. Yung, um, yun at in any other place, uh, uh, I think it has to be an elevated one. A little bit higher than the the usual. Okay, na mayon, ma'am. Sturdy, and it has a toilet. Lat lat na, and the amenities. But if you on the average, kung anim pito ang anak, wala talaga. But kung pa family of mga apat lima, osa na yung ano? Opo, initial lang po yon. Temporarily po lang yun. Uh, but then we can also communicate with the NDRRMC dahil po we can continuously communicate with them 
dahil po may fund naman po for the housing naman po. Hmm. And we are addressing right now, we are not uh, putting the three families or five families in 24 square meter. Meron na po sila ngayon yung lofted. Pataas na po sila ngayon. So meron na, meron na po silang enough room sa taas. So that are the uh, main uh, policy po right now with the NHA, HUDC, and Social Housing Finance. You, uh, this is one, you, your office is one of those performing na maganda yung, yung housing ninyo. Pati yung sa mga sundalo. But the thing I admired most was the uh, the speed that you built the houses in Marawi. Sabi na Marawi is not yet ready to the the the, the, the epicenter was the, the downtown. I, I I don't think that I should be spending for their building. Di ako magagasto ng ano. Marami may pera yung mga tao dyan. Uh, uh, every mara now there is a businessman. Kasali na yung shabu. Uh, may pera sila. Uh, the debate there is whether I would be also building the same kind that they, they the lot. I don't think I am ready for that. Pero yung mga in sa, yung mga informal settlers, uh, the squatters, so to speak. Yung ginawa ni Dear Rosarios, uh, was really good. It's sturdy, it can stand another uh, whatever. Tapos, uh, bagay, man-made naman ang kalamiti doon. Uh, it was bound to happen because of what they were doing there. Thank you for your uh, input. Thank you, Mr. President. So, Ma'am, wala, wala na iba. So, dito tayo sa uh, DOST. Tapos ka na, boy. Actually, ang uh, Deputy Director po ng People's Senate ito, gusto ko lang uh, magbigay ng uh, ilang uh, informasyon na yung... Uh, Earthquake sa Central Luzon. Uh, ito pong uh, Sambales, Pampanga is one of the seismically active areas in the country because of the Philippine Fault, the Iba Fault, the East Sambales Fault, and the Manila Trench, uh, which are the main earthquake generators. Uh, siguro ho background information, from 1928 to 1993, there were 18 moderate earthquakes uh, which had magnitudes of 5.1 uh, to 5.8. So on the uh, average. Oh, on the average. On the average po yun eh, 65 years, eh, 18 uh, earthquakes so, uh, every four years, parang ganun. Uh, and then uh, after the eruption of Pinatubo uh, in 1991, there were moderately sized earthquakes that occurred as a result of the activity of the volcanoes. Now, uh, from uh, the current earthquake activity, we expect succeeding small magnitude earthquakes or aftershocks, which may continue to occur for several days to weeks, some of which may be felt. However, the probability of an earthquake higher than the magnitude 6.1 to occur from the same source is low. Now, uh, as to the question of uh, whether this earthquake can trigger a destructive tsunami, according to our uh, experts at PBOLKS, the magnitude of the earthquake is not big enough to generate a destructive uh, tsunami. And uh, we just want to assure you, uh, those PBOLKS is operating a network of 101 seismic uh, stations monitoring all of this uh, all over the country. In this area, po, the uh, uh, seismic stations are located in uh, Magalang, Pampanga, Santa Cruz, and Iba, Sambales, in Abukay, Bataan, and in Doña Remedios, Trinidad, in uh, Bulacan. Mamaya po kung gusto nyo malinig yung report ng uh, earthquake sa uh, Eastern Samar, nandito po si Director, uh, Deputy Director Bautista. I, I, ano muna? Since we're talking of earthquake. Additional information, sir, about the earthquake which occurred in uh, Eastern summer, uh, the, the earthquake are result from the activity of the Philippine Trench. So
So um, compared to the earthquake in uh, in uh, or earthquake yesterday, uh, this one that happened at 1:37 p.m. this afternoon is deeper. It, it's about 65 kilometers. The one that happened here is only 10 kilometers. So the, that's the main reason why damage is not so extensive. Uh, there were report, uh, reported minor cracks in the walls of houses, but uh, we have not received any building that collapsed. And uh, the, the, the possibility for the tsunami is also remote because the earthquake is also very deep. And uh, the magnitude range uh, 6.6. Uh, even if there is a tsunami, the wave amplitude would be uh, small to be destructive. So there is, we are not expecting any hazard from tsunami. As of now, we have not received any reports of casualties. Pagka ang NPA na baon doon, wag mong tulungan. Gastos lang ako sa mga pagkakas. Sabi na may nabaon doon ng 10 o 20 NPA there. Just tell them that Duterte does not like to spend one centavo of fuel for the equipment to retrieve your, retrieve your comrades. He is angry at you. So continuously po natin binomonitor yung mga earthquakes sa dalawang site na yan. So ang people 27 na go-operate. Then uh, we will uh, update you sa, sa mga recent uh, development. As of now, uh, almost 500 na po yung aftershock dito sa Porak. Pampanga. Ayun. Yes sir. Uh, almost 500 na po. Doon sa summer, nasa 60 pa lang. But we are expect, expecting more. Continuously po na nag, uh, every now and then nagkakaroon ng aftershock. Pero we are expecting this, the, the magnitude to to be on the downtrend. So, hopefully uh, mag-wane uh, yung, yung energy ng mga events at tumahimik na yung mga earthquake. Yes, That's all sir. about the briefing sir. Well, uh, with that, your, uh, your prayers also that it will not occur now. Because the majority of the cabinet members and the speaker and me, pag bumagsak ito ngayon, ako, ubos ang gobyerno natin. The military will automatically take over. If they are not uh, included here, then the deputy. Huwag kayong mag-worry sir, malayo tayo sa mga Paul pagdating dito sa San Fernando. Sige. Defense, wala na ako sanado dito kasi sa interior and local government. Yes sir, good evening sir. First is I would like really to commend the prompt and immediate action of the LGUs, particularly the uh, provincial government under Gober Governor Pineda. Uh, at 5.11, sir, the earthquake struck. At 5.30, there was no power, but they were able to immediately convene the uh, local DRRMC and set up the uh, uh, command center. And at the same time, all other agencies the uh, DILG, MLGO, SPDs, and RDs, the PNP, the Armed Forces of the Philippines, the Bureau of Fire, to establish the incident command system. And I think uh, we owe this to the continuous earthquake drill that we are conducting at least once every quarter. Uh, because of that, we are more prepared. And in fact, uh, as I said, uh, command centers and uh, Search and rescue teams, emergency response teams are immediately available. But of course, uh, we still would like to, to uh, lessen the, the time for response because I believe that it is the key factor to minimize the loss of lives or to prevent loss of lives. Uh, we have to still uh, reduce the time between the disaster and the putting up of the uh, uh, command centers and the deployment of all uh, uh, search rescue teams and uh, emergency response team. Uh, but uh, really the key factor also is the presence of uh, the local government chief executives. My uh, RD and PD reported that 100% presence po yung ating mga uh, local chief executives. That's why uh, it's really very, very easy for them to lead the uh, rescue effort and another factor is the buy-in spirit. 
when we uh, determined that Porax, the ground zero, uh, many LGUs volunteered to uh, help in order to rescue retrieve victims. So, na minimize lang na, uh, po talaga itong uh, mga biktima natin. But uh, still, uh, I have issued several uh, memos, particularly the conduct of uh, infrastructure audit to check the safety of all buildings, uh, especially schools and uh, uh, government centers. Uh, any portion damaged during the earthquake would surely affect the integrity of the structure. And it may not be safe for the people to immediately occupy, especially uh, tall buildings. And then we find out also that uh, up 5.30, there was a power outage. So it was only restored at midnight, very uh, critical during the rescue. So I'd like to, uh, to uh, oblige all LGUs to have gen set readily available uh, we don't know the next uh, disaster so those LGUs who have no gen set they have to procure immediately then of course uh, the temporary uh, uh, suspension of the business permit of a chosen uh, supermarket and then uh, the continuous conduct of our uh, earthquake drill nationwide in uh, Metro Manila, uh, well, there's only one damage reported, the uh, Emilio Aguinaldo College, but all the uh, LGU, the 17 LGUs, convened the local DRMC today. For uh, Region 4A, fortunately, sir, uh, although they experienced intensity 4, 3, and 2, but uh, there is no damage on... Uh, any building or roads or beaches in uh, Region 4A. So, really, Sarah, this is a manifestation that uh, our local government units are prepared for disasters, but uh, for next time, sir, we will aim for zero casualty. That's all, Mr. President. Okay. Uh, thinking of uh, defense, that's a... Uh that's a... Uh, uh, medyo malayo na sila. Budget... Uh, uh, we have discussed it actually. Uh, unfortunately, I have uh, a date with uh, the doctors uh, uh, regarding tuberculosis and lung. There's a convention going on. So I, as I said, I thought uh, I, I'd be in time, but uh, it's only seven. But you yeah, know, I, I abbreviate ko na lang. I'd like to commend uh, the national guys uh, who were uh, there at the scene, uh, yung the province itself, and the helping hand of the NGOs, uh, pati yung local government units. I'd like to thank you for the esprit de corps that you have uh, displayed uh, so far. Yeah, sana magpaiwan na gano'n yan. For after all, we are really living in one country. And there is fault, fault, fault everywhere. Ako pa sa iyo, magpilipat ka na lang ng bahay. Huwag ka dito sa fault kasi. Delikado. Uh, I'd like to, specifically, ang kausap ko kagabi, uh, was the police and the military. I said, I, I arrived here at 2 o'clock. I wanted to go straight here. Maglanding sana ako. But uh, there was also, they were in Equandere sa Clark. Tinamaan rin eh. Anyway, it's not so devastating, if I say the word. But it is a, a problem for us. And the fact that we are assembled here, talking about it. Uh, at the end of the day, it boils down to money. Bahas kaya anong problema sa gobyerno, it boils down to the lady there at the end of the table. Uh, she is spent uh, her lifetime uh, counting the money and dividing it among us. So, uh, I am not appointing a new, a, a, a regular appointment. 
Uh, si Ma'am will just act as OIC until I uh, in God's uh, time matapos ako. Three, three years lang naman, Ma'am. So, uh, wala nang commission appointments. At saka kung ano ka na mga congressman, suntukin mo. May congressman ba dito? Speaker. 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 Hi, airport. Ah, of, of course, that will be uh, ano mama uh, ibang financing team. Are you using kagad yan? Uh, a lot of people who want to go there. Ang surprise ko, ma'am, Madam Speaker, is yung group on and wanted to do some innovation there sa Naya. And they just simply, it was about, it was agreed na sila. Mm. Conglo uh, conglomerate. Yes, yes. I don't know why Na nothing else. Uh, they have they have been discussed with the DOF, I think, on some conditionality. Uh, problema si si Tong si Dominguez, uh, medyo maano rin. But we will try to see in the next cabinet meeting. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if I may uh, beg leave to, to fly to Asa to? PACC. Ah. Ah. Sabi ko yung mga doktor. Uh, I thought that TB was uh, eradicated. There was a time pati yung chicken pox, yung ganon? Small pox. Small pox. Then the resurgent mutation. Tayo mayroon na. Pero nag-mutate itong... Padala natin sa Europe yung mga tube ninyo. Ay, by the way. Uh, finance. Finance. Who's uh, the finance guy here? Yung basura ng... Yung basura ng Canada. I want a boat prepared. I'll give uh, a warning to Canada maybe next week that they better uh, pull that thing out or I will set sail doon sa Canada. Ibuhos ko yung basura nila doon. I, I cannot understand why they're making us a, a, a dump site. And that is not the only case uh, in point. Bi, ano yan, papasunod-sunod yan na pinapadala yung basura sa atin. Well, not at this time. Magkaaway kami. Na, eh di ano? Why natin ang Canada? Will declare war against them? Kaya man natin yan sila. So, eh, sa uli ko talaga yan. Ah, tingnan mo. Ikarga mo yan doon sa ano, barko, load it the containers to a ship and advise Canada, I will advise Canada that your garbage is uh, on, the way. On, uh, on, the, on the way. Prepare a grand reception. <laughs> Eat it if you want to. Buang itong ginakaya-kaya tayo. Hindi ako papayag ng ganun. Lalo na yung Nagbili tayo ng chopper sa kanila. They agreed to sell, but uh, pahabol nila ang conditionalities nila, ma'am, na hindi daw natin magamit against our own citizens. Kulok-kulok ko pala kayo. My own citizens are cutting the neck of my soldiers and policemen. My own citizens are declaring war to oust everybody Tayo, what are our trabaho? Payag ka niyan, ma'am. Budget, payag ka. Hindi. Hindi, yung pera natin, uh, prepare mo lang kayo. Hindi, papayag na gano'n. Next week, the, the, and it, itong 
customs na to. The next time they do it, I will suck them all of them. Hindi hindi kay Jagger yan. Noon matagal na yan. Pero sabi ko Jagger, send them back or do not allow them to drop anger here. You just tell them by go back to where you came from. I will not allow that kind of shit at ating bayan. So mas sobra itong mga ano? They 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 extend the educational grants, but on condition that they will accept their shit and their garbage. Na ba pa yung kaya ikarga natin uli yan pabalik sa kanila. Bingo, prepare your and celebrate because your garbage is coming home. Oh, yung iba, yung iba mga limang truck, eh, buhos mo dyan sa Canadian Embassy. <laughs> Tang, yan ang, oh, ito, totoo ma'am. Pabutin pa, pa, mo na gano'n. Supladuhan lang itong mundo na ito, kung sino lang ang pakaya. Well, not me. So, I'd like to thank you again. Uh, I don't know, the, the, the government of Pampanga and the seal that they have shown us, despite the fact that, uh, you know, it's hard to come here. Maraming salamat sa inyo. On behalf of the provincial government and the citizens of Pampanga, thank you, Mr. President.